Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to a new season. Your fault, Brie. You're not letting us be ourselves. A new season of Lais and the Coach. <laughs> In this season, we would like to discuss the ins and outs of fitness, contest prep, nutrition. I would totally not be with you if you talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> we would totally not be together. Welcome to episode one yes. of our new show. She is Lais and I am the coach. And that is the name of our show. show. First of all, if there's ever been a time for personal bubble, right. this is We will always stay true to what we do. So you're doing is going to get you to the next place. And throw the list away. It's only about our time before you came. <laughs> you can look way better than you used to. Such a great experience. Oh, like it knows everything you've given. <laughs> 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 you're you're shown curiosity. What if it actually works? I've been chopped it out. Come on, Bartona. 100%. An extra bite of our city right now. Oh. Sometimes it is a yeah. member. Welcome, everybody. Peace out, everybody. And we are back. Welcome, everybody, to Lais and the Coach. And I am pretty sure that this is season 10. Holy shit. No way. We have to go out tonight and drink. <laughs> <laughs> we have to celebrate. I am almost certain Stop it. that this Breathe. is season 10. Go find it. <laughs> no, she wouldn't know. Oh. But she doesn't know what we're Season 10! We're going to go with it because she just asked us to go drinking. So it's happening. <laughs> Guys, 10 seasons of Lais and the Coach. That's fucking insane. You just did your 10th show. I know. We should I play the did, lotto. I just did a race with 10 events after 10 years. Shut up. Brie, you're recording, right? Because you keep messing with that and it's freaking me out. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> If you are not... 10 everything? If you are not running out right now to go play the number 10... You need to play. It's our stuff. <laughs> we should all do 10 push-ups. Or 10 shots. When was the last time you did 10 shots? I don't know. Have you ever done 10 shots? Yes, for sure. For sure? Like pretend. Like you get it and you're like, oh. No, for real. 10 shots? Probably not. Today might be the day. I've done 10 shots. I believe you. I don't like the way that feels. <laughs> anyway, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we ten have... different desserts. Bites of ten things. A spread of ten desserts. Okay. We're going to do ten everything now. Guys. Except for children. We have no been... one needs ten of those. Did you guys know that after ten kids, you don't have to pay child support? <laughs> yep. He told me that fun fact today. <laughs> fun fact. Who the fuck needs ten kids? That now? is you what our show chill, is about. <laughs> if you don't know. Guys, hold on. So welcome much. back. Season 10, episode one, <laughs> that is what this season is going to be like. But we haven't been around in a little bit. Mm. There have been a multitude of things. We had different intentions for season nine. We are go, 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 go. But when I tell you that our podcast is front of mind all the yes. time, I'm not lying. We talk yes. about it all the time. We wish we did this more and we're gonna. Fuck yeah. We're gonna. And one of the things we've been talking about is how sometimes we feel like we are not fully ourselves, like the beginning of this. Like we're always ourselves. Like we're very honest, upfront, can't fake anything type of people. But I feel like sometimes like you don't want to say something because you don't want to come across the wrong way or you don't want to be misinterpreted. And like no one should be doing that to themselves. Like you know, no one should I think, be filtering who they are. I think that the word authentic. Mm -hmm gets thrown around a lot. Oh my gosh, yes. And no one even knows what the fuck that means. Authenticity. And people want to be real. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, and you should be yourself. Mm -hmm. The problem is always that that comes with whatever it comes with. And whoever you are trying to be authentic to or be real may not be ready for it. Yeah. And you may not be ready to be that real all the time. Yep. So, and that also would mean that you need to know who you are. That's really the first step. It's like, who do you, who you are, who you're not, what you stand for, what you don't, and then go be that, right? Like what you like, what you don't like, who you like, who you don't like. And you don't have to be shitty to anybody, but it's more like you need to be sure of you first and, and then you need to put that and, out into the and world. And I don't think it's about being shitty to anybody. I think it's more about being who you are without feeling like you've got to accommodate other people because if you are truly who you are you're going to alienate people guess what that honestly that was one of the things that we were talking about and we'll talk about it a little bit later 
But so what if you alienate people? It's a blessing. Right? Because if you're constantly navigating around totally. having to act some kind of way mm -hmm. because the people around you may be uncomfortable, then that's not the right crowd for you. And there's nothing worse than limiting yourself or censoring yourself or not being fully yourself or bringing all of you to anything that you do or to any relationship that you have because someone else is going to be uncomfortable or because someone else may or may not understand it. So I wanted to say that because I'm like, we started off being exactly like that, which we've been talking about for a while. And also, I really can't handle the fact that there's a light bulb like gone here. Brie, okay. <laughs> you need to make a note because my OCD cannot handle a light bulb out. Okay. Can we make it through this show? I'm going to make it. I'm just right. not going to look up. Okay. So I think on that note, like just, just one more thing. Mm -hmm. It's, I think on the other side of the being real is the people that are way too sensitive about way too many things Yes. and take everything personal. Yes. Right. So a lot of times the, the realness that too many people have to hide, they have to hide it because some other people don't know how to handle it or do what with it. Yeah. Again, you may be hanging out with the wrong crowd yes. because if you're being yourself and I'm reactive to it, right? And then I have to act a different kind of way to mm -hmm. accommodate you, then I shouldn't be hanging out with you. Yes. And likewise, if you have to not be yourself because around me, like you can't act a certain way, 100%. then you shouldn't be hanging around me. A hundred percent. And I feel like a lot of times it's either a bad fit like that, or it's like, like you're not that fucking special. Like not everything is about you. No one's out to get you. Right. There is a line and there's a difference. And I think I had to learn this because I am so upfront and cut and dry. Sometimes there is a difference between being yourself and being rude, right? right. Like there, it's an energy thing. You could feel when someone is just being them and that has nothing to do with you and you may not, it may not vibe with you, but they're just being themselves. Or someone's like, yeah, but I'm just very honest. Like, no, you're a bitch. Like there's a right. difference, right. you know? So it's like distinguishing that, which goes back to like, do you know yourself? And if you do, and if you know your intentions and you know who you are and you know how you want to show up in the world, then you need to go do that and never filter it or censor it or hold back because it might make somebody else uncomfortable. If that's not the goal, then go be you. Right. Do so you. circling back so that we could stay on topic. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to. Do I'm we know gonna, how? <laughs> the reason that we have not been on is because when we started season nine, one of the things that we wanted to do was talk to a lot of different business owners. Yes. Right. That was our intention with that season. Um, so that we could bring different conversations, different people, um, have the opportunity for you guys that listen and watch to meet other people. Yes. Um, but you'd be surprised how difficult it is to coordinate and schedule guests. Yes. Even though everybody wants some sort of platform or content or something. Yeah. Right? It's not as simple Scheduling as you Scheduling and yeah. yeah. And it has nothing to do with the size of the podcast. No, not at because all. Because guess what? Most people aren't doing it. Yeah. So, but anyway, that was one of the things that we wanted to do with that season. Yes. Another thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to try to focus um, on some local people mm -hmm. also, because as many of you may or may not know, we had opened our gym mm -hmm. uh, and part of, part of having the kind of gym experience that we want to have is about community. Yes. Right? And a lot of times people bundle every gym into the same, you know, bundle of fruit. Mm -hmm. And our place is very different. What we do is very different. Yes. How we do it is very different. And the best way to get somebody to understand what we do and how we do it is for them to come experience it. And it is always better for somebody to come experience our place if someone they know invited them. Absolutely. Right? Like, listen, we can put all kinds of marketing out, right? We can put ads, offers, try our gym, like our gym, write a review about, like we could do all kinds of stuff, right? But at the end of the day, in order for you to get any kind of real result, you've got to be consistent. And in yes. order to be consistent, you've got to enjoy the you thing that you're to, doing. 100%. And in order for you to enjoy the thing you're doing, you do have to go try it out first. Yes, and it right? has to be the right fit you are for you. Not, you cannot be at home. And I think that this, this could be one of those things that we chop up later, editor. You cannot be at home waiting to find the right fit for you by being at home. You've got to go out and do things. Yes. You've got to go out and try things. Yes. You've got to go out and experience things. Where we are, there's probably about six or seven gyms in our in mm -hmm. our like two block radius. Yeah. You know, if you want to go a mile, there's more. Yeah. Um, 
there's CrossFit, there's personal training places, there's big box gym, big box gyms in our area. Yeah. What we do is very different. What we do is very unique. Yes. And the way that we do it is very different. And in order for somebody to actually come experience it, they have to come experience it. That's the only way. It's the only way. Yeah. So that is what our intention was with season, season nine. nine. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to do was kind of like connect with uh, with different business owners in our area mm -hmm. also that you know could you know maybe start expanding or sharing the word of. I don't want to sound like a church. Sounds like church. Right? But, but it is. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's a little churchy. We were actually talking about community on the way here earlier. Yeah. Because and I want to get into that. Community is so important. You know? But before we get into mm -hmm. that, um, so that's what happened with season nine. And then we didn't really catch our voice. Mm. And then instead of trying to jump from that to something else, honestly, we kind of like let everything go. And we've been planning on coming back. And what better way than the way that we did today? I know. Oh, I'm very happy with it. So honestly, like sometimes things happen the way they need to happen. Always. I couldn't have opened not the show the way always. I opened it if those things had not happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so. we don't plan any of this out, by the way, right. you guys. I mean, we have like things that we want to talk about, but I'm saying like it isn't like a scripted thing. Right. It's just whatever so, comes out. It's real. So that happened. And then along the way, the season, our contest prep season with our team started. Mm -hmm. um, she was prepping for a show. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, our gym, we traveled, uh, Mother's Day, birthdays, all kinds of things along the way that, not that prevented us from doing the show, yeah. but honestly, like it made us keep putting the show in the back burner. Yes. And we really feel like this is the best way for us to connect. Because again, back to being authentic, right? Like this is really where you get to hear what we mean. Yes. Right, because I could write a post and she could write a post and you're going to read it in whatever tone you want. That's very true. It doesn't matter what kind of emoji she uses or if I use exclamation points. You're not going to get my sarcasm if you don't know If you don't hear I you, talk, yeah. Right? Uh, and, and you're not going to get her realness just by reading something. Mm -hmm. So the best way to really get a good grasp of who we are, what we mean, mm -hmm. what we say is to listen and watch to this stuff, to our podcast, yes, uh, because we do post a lot of things, and sometimes people get the context, and sometimes they don't. Yeah, right. Like it's kind of like, like the I risk you take. Like, like I tweeted two things today. Oh that, my god, you guys have to follow him on Twitter. He's a big Twitter person. I don't have Twitter. Uh, I'm not a fan of all the writing. And and, and again, sometimes you know, I was telling her during our workout. A lot of times when I'm uh, talking to clients, the like the way I explain something or say something. I was telling, I even joked to them, like, oh, I'm going to tweet this. He says it all the time. I'm going to uh, tweet that. Even when you're telling me things. Right. It's, you may not get it if you're not listening or watching. So listening or watching is really the best way to get a really good understanding of who we are, what we do, how we do it. What we're what trying we're to say. About, you know, what we represent, what our brand is, mm -hmm. you know, insert all those things. Anyway, so let's bring you guys up to date really quick. Uh, back in March, Bree turned 21. If you guys don't Fun know, times. If you guys don't know Brie, Brie is our content editing machine. Well, she's our child first. Uh, <laughs> yep. She's a kid. <laughs> she's one of them. Uh, but she is also our content person. Uh, if you want to follow BAM Multimedia, I'll put the link to the Instagram page mm -hmm. in our show notes. She makes all kinds of content. Uh, she makes all the videos that we put out, all the yes. workout videos, the show videos, the behind the scenes videos. She does birthday parties, gender reveals. Uh, anything, anything, really, that you uh, can think of. That you could think of that you want a video made for mm -hmm. uh, in that style. We can do it. She can do it. Uh, so we had her birthday back in March. Mm -hmm. Went and on we, a cruise. And we went on a cruise for the weekend. Oh my God. And Take me back. Best thing. <laughs> I love cruises. If you guys have been on Royal Caribbean, uh, Windjammer is all I got to say. Oh my God. We're going to get off this podcast and book a cruise right now. Or not because... Or go do 10 to, shots. <laughs> go do 10 shots. Every time we talk about the cruise, I'm like, I need to book another cruise immediately. It was so good. And we came, Just we came from that and uh, the WBFF season started with the show in Orlando. We had... Uh, karate season started. <laughs> karate season. We had a bunch of athletes competing for that, uh, that weekend. We rolled into... We went somewhere else. 
Did we? St. Augustine. We went to St. Augustine. Oh my God, it was so cool. What a find. We got to book that too. Right? Yes. But what a find. Like it's been, it's been one of those things that we've been talking about going to do and just never did it until yeah. we did. If you guys have never been to St. Augustine, you, haven't been, like, you must. St. Augustine, Florida. Just in case. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Hmm. It was so cool. It was so cool. To us. us, like a much better version of like the Keys. Like yes. Key West, we're not really a huge fan of, but St. Augustine was amazing. Uh, we rolled into my birthday, mm -hmm. which was a working week because she was one week out from her I show. No, his birthday was on Monday and my show was that Saturday. So. And then we flew to LA. Uh, we did fly to LA. We hung out in LA, we went, to the, uh, went to Santa Monica, walked on the beach, went to the pier, uh, saw the sights, did the thing. Yeah. Uh, Some quality we, are, family. we are going to do, just so that you guys know, our next episode. Oh, it's really stormy out there. Our next episode is going to be 10 things that she learned in 10 shows. It's going to be a recap episode of this prep because it was her best prep yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do want to talk about all the things that she got out of this prep that maybe we haven't talked about in other shows. It's going to be really hard to handle, to narrow it down to 10 things, but. Uh, but we'll talk, but that is our goal for the next episode. The 10 things she's learned after doing 10 shows. Mm -hmm. um, we came from LA and uh, what did we do right after that? My race. I had a race. You did I have did a race. I did the DECA. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Spartan. Uh, has an indoor type setup and they do indoor racing mm -hmm. and I did one of those. Uh, that kicked my ass. I know. Uh, I did a photo shoot when there's we came a, back. There's, she did a photo shoot. There are YouTube episodes about all of this. I was just going to say that. If you guys are like, oh, really? You guys did that? You should really go check out our YouTube. So she has a YouTube. I have a YouTube and I will put links to both of those yes. in the in the description. And Instagram. We share everything too. Yeah. We'll Not put all that stuff out. As but YouTube. anyway, what we wanted to do today was kind of like Talk a little bit about what been doing, what we had been doing. What been doing? That's been a good doing. one. I like it. <laughs> what we had been doing, uh, why we hadn't done the show, mm -hmm. where we're at, what's coming, mm -hmm. and a lot more about what we started the show with, which is kind of finding, kind of like thinking about where you are in whatever it is that you're doing and making sure that you are surrounded by the right kind oh, of yes. energy. I'm not going to say people. I'm going to say energy. People are energy. Right. And the reason that we say that is because, you know, if you've listened before or if you do watch our stuff or even if this is the first time that you are watching, you know, a lot of what we do for business is help people get ready for a big goal. Yes. In a lot of cases, that big goal is a fitness competition, getting ready for the stage. We help people get ready for all stages uh, and all different federations. But the big goal is that moment, right? And along that journey or along uh, the process to getting that done, we have also built a community of people that are on the same path. Yes. And they are either on the same path for the first time together or they are on the path for the second time, or they have grown inside of that community yes. together. It's so cool. And one of the best parts about that is that there are a bunch of other people that speak your language, right? I always joke or reference, you know, it's, it's great to speak to somebody who speaks English, right? Mm -hmm. When I meet somebody that speaks what I speak. Yeah, right? what I speak, your language, yeah. But in our, in our group, in our team, right, in our tribe. In our family. Everyone is getting ready for this thing. So it is easy to understand what everybody else is going through. Yes, 100%. You may have people that love you and care about you. And support you. And support you, but may not understand why you're doing any of the things that you're doing. Whether the thing that you're doing is pursuing yes. uh, a new fitness goal, like getting ready for the stage, or starting a business. Yes. Right? Or starting a side hustle. Yes. Or why you're committed to your new religion. Maybe you found something Maybe. over the weekend scrolling through the internet and mm -hmm. you're super focused on it, right? Like Insert thing, right? It goes back to being authentic and yes. being yourself and yes. being around people that want to be a part of that mm -hmm. and not make you feel like you're doing something wrong. Yes. So in our group, right, part of that process is making sure that people eat, making sure that people exercise, making sure that they prioritize all of those things. And it's hard. And a lot of other things that go into that process, And it's right? hard for people that are not doing that to understand 
one, what that's all about, yes. or two, why somebody even would do that when they are not pursuing it. Mm -hmm. Most people impose the way that they feel about things that they see other people doing onto, onto them. They project it. Right? They project. So they may not even notice. Yeah. Most people don't even think about the things that they say or do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So in our community, that is one of the things that's most important to us. Yeah. And it's important, we think, that everybody have some sort of community that they belong to. Because I think as uh, human beings, right, part of being mm -hmm. is belonging. Yes. Right? And being a part of something. Yes. Uh, I think that's why churches are so big. Mm -hmm. uh, not that we want to talk about religion. I want to talk about religion. Yeah, yeah, no. Talk about churches. The concept of the, like that community. Right? That community. And everyone having the same mission and belief. Exactly. And so if you are not part of something that is bigger than you, but aligned with you, that might yes. be something that you might want to consider looking for. I can recommend you know, it enough. I think that that's what we, we didn't set out to build that. No. We didn't set but out to do that. The main but now it is the main priority. Look yeah. at this weekend. This weekend we are we have a photo shoot with a lot of the members of our team uh, as a milestone goal, mm -hmm. as a community building event, mm -hmm. uh, as, as a, a team, as a team bonding event. Yes. But how cool is it to go spend a weekend with everybody that's a part of the thing that you are doing, and nothing be weird about any of it, right? Yeah. No one's going to feel weird because they are going to eat at a certain time or weigh their food or or work out yes. and that's important yes. or feel guilty about going out Saturday night. Or even also like the fact that we're doing a photo shoot and a lot of times like that's new for a lot of people. So we're going to have a room of, of girls that some of them it's the first time, some of them it's the second, some of them it's a 10th, but some of them have never done this kind of shoot before. And the cool thing about that is that everyone's going to be in that room, like feeling good about what they're doing, getting their hair and makeup done, looking at each other's outfits, right? Like doing the thing that maybe someone outside of that room wouldn't understand. They might look at that stuff and be like, oh, that's pretty, but not really knowing everything that went into choosing them and making that decision and the back and forth and, and the guts that it takes to go out and wear them, like everything that goes into really doing this because it isn't just eating and training and then going to do an event, right? Like there's a lot that goes into this process. I think that you said something after your first show that hopefully you bring back up uh, in our next episode, but it was like, you really, like you walked out of your first show and said, everybody should get the opportunity to feel like this at least once. Totally. Right? And I think that that's one of the things that's undervalued the most. Yes. When was the last time that you got dressed up, like really dressed up, like over the top, that wasn't for a wedding? That's what I was going to say, for someone else's right? day. Well, I was going to say either for your day or for somebody else's day. Mm -hmm. But I mean over the top, because usually you only go over the top for your day. Yes. So when was the last time that you got dressed up over the top? Yes. For you. Yes. You know? Yes. And I think that that is one of the things that we have been fortunate enough to be able to provide over and over and over again yes. for a lot of the people on our team yes. because those experiences are milestone experiences, but they're also like highlights. Yes. You know, people usually do things once Yeah. and we've been able to do these things over and over again. And yeah. for the people that are doing it for the first time, it is the first time that they're doing anything like this. Uh, but for the people that do it the second, third or fourth time, that version of them is so different. Yes. Than, the, than the person that shows up for the first one. Yeah. And that has been such a cool thing that we've been able to incorporate along with helping people get into the amazing shape. Yeah, and I think like a lot of times people underestimate because they don't know or they haven't done it, the power and the magic of feeling that way about yourself, even if at least once, right? It shouldn't be once, but if at least once you do because there's just something about doing that, right? Like feeling that good. Like for example, this, this week when everyone gets their hair and makeup done. Once the makeup is done and they hand them the mirror and they go look at it and they're like, oh my God, like you can't even believe that that's you. Mm -hmm. You don't, you know, your everyday you that's doing laundry and doing the dishes and walking around and going to work and going to the gym with the hair up. Like the everyday you doesn't get to see that you, but it's still you, right? But you just don't bring her out ever. And that is the authentic community that we are a part of, that we help uh, build, right? Uh, because it's really the sum of everybody that's in it. A hundred percent. Um, and we are It'd kind of the, the facilitators, yeah. but that is one of the things that matters most to us to be able to create events like this for everybody, mm -hmm. uh, and to have everybody 
continue to pursue that next version of themselves, yes. that higher version of themselves yes. uh, and feel good about being around people that are also pursuing yes, the same thing. Yes, that's what I was going to say, like back to the community. Like mm -hmm. the goal itself, the journey itself, it's so magical, mm -hmm. but being in a community that supports it, understand it, is in it with you And the thing is there is amazing. that this is the kind of thing that you cannot be a part of if you are not pursuing that next thing. Right. right. Because if you don't have that big goal that you're pursuing, that there's no reason to do this part. Yeah. Or sometimes this part doesn't have the weight that it should have or could have. Totally. Because you have not, you don't have that next thing. It's, it's, it's almost the equivalent of going to like this building, business building weekend seminar event, mm -hmm. but you're not actually building a business. Right. Right. Like you want to be in a room filled with entrepreneurs that are doing big things and building big, big businesses, but you're not actually building one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You might be thinking about building one. Yeah. You might have had a talk about building one, but you're not actually in the trenches. Doing. Right? Yes. And it doesn't matter how long it takes to build a business or if you work on it, you know, when you get home from work or on the weekends, but if you are in it, yes. then you are able to relate to that community. Mm -hmm. Well, same thing here. When you have a big goal like stepping on stage or transforming the way you look, mm -hmm. stepping into a new version of you that looks and feels the best they ever have then everybody speaks your language. It's And it's so cool and it's so powerful and it's so life-changing and it wouldn't be half of what it, what it is without the community part of it. And one of the things that we want to do better at and do more of is be more real and more authentic about the way that we feel about that Yeah. while not holding back that some of the people may not gravitate toward that or enjoy that or like that or That's like okay. that we talk about that so much. And that's okay. It's not for you. Right. What we do is not for everybody. Definitely not. What, what we are doing, the game that we are playing is not for everyone. We are doing something that no one else is doing because we are trying to create something that no one else is creating. Yes. And the people that have been a part of that understand it. And everybody else thinks that, that we are doing something that they have no idea about. <laughs> and I don't really give a shit. That's mm. awesome. That is exactly what that mm -hmm. is, actually. Right. 100%. So... Season 10 Ooh. is going to... Well, these 10s really have me like Going to be filled with... You know what would be cool? You know what would be really cool? Our goal was to oh do... God. what is he going to say? Our goal was to do six episodes over the next six weeks. Uh-huh. What would be really cool is if season 10 had 10 episodes. Yes. And then we close it. Yes, let's do it. We so, got to keep the theme. So... It's a must. Season 10, 10 episodes. This is episode one. Uh, we talked about this early, early on. But another thing that I would like is more connection. Oh, my God, yes. Let's chat. Yes. You know? Tell us. You know what we're going to do? As a matter of fact, whoever contributes the most this season on any of our platforms. No, you're going to be a guest on the show. Oh, yes. That's a great prize. That is a prize. Yeah. How exciting. Let's do it. You're going to be a guest on the show. Uh, I don't know if you'll do it this season. It depends on, yeah. on uh, when we pick the person. Interact. But whoever, whoever comments and contributes the most to all of the episodes in season 10, yes. how about that, okay. will be the first guest of season 11. What? I love that. That's such a great idea. On the spot. Live. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about that, people? What do we call our listeners? Our people. Our people. Yeah. No, but we have to call our... Everybody has like... A thing. Let's come up with that too. What should we call the people that listen and watch a to podcast fam? Lace and the Coach? A podcast fam? Yeah, but you know how, how everybody has like a name? Yeah, but we're not like everybody. I know, but it's not about that. It's like, you know how the BTS army? <laughs> yes. Right? The Bellas have an army too. That's from weird. WWE. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I have the watchers. The watchers are the people that watch my YouTube. That's right. You do have the watchers. <laughs> I don't anyway, know. we'll come up with something this season too. If you have an idea for a name, uh, let us know. But guys, season 10 of Lice and the Coach is going to be filled with a bunch of things. Like I said, the next episode is going to be the 10 things that she learned doing 10 shows. Episode 3, I am planning a guest. Uh, let's, see, let's see if I can make that happen because we want to do 6 episodes in the next 6 weeks. And I'd rather get... Like well, you a said lot 10 of, episodes. Well, 10 episodes for this season. Got it. But I want to do six, six in episodes next six in the weeks, next six weeks. And then the other four. But I would rather, anytime I do that, let me give you guys some insight about getting things done, right? Do the work. I always write, do the work. The outcome you want is on the other side. 
it's on the other side of the work. Mm -hmm. And if I, and I, and I knew this going into this, if I want to get six episodes done in six weeks, I'm not going to wait six weeks. Right. Episode two, we're going to film tomorrow. And if yes. I can get episode three the next day, it's about getting it done. Yes. And if you know that you have an outline Once you of, decide, of a target that you're working on, yes. why the hell are you going to wait till the last minute to get it done? Totally. Get that shit done now. Yep. And Bree's over there thinking Preach. about all the times that I told yeah. her to get her homework done fast. If the shoe fits, right? Bree. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, like, okay, whatever, whatever target, right? We were talking earlier about how good it feels when you execute all of the things that you need to execute, yes. even if you can't see a result immediately. Yes. If you have a meal plan to follow or a workout program to follow and you do all of the things that you're supposed to do, you are not going to see an outcome immediately, but right. it feels good to have gotten it all done as opposed to how it feels when you don't do it all. A hundred percent. So six episodes in six weeks, 10 episodes in season 10, the highest contributor or commenter to this season will be the... First guest of season 11. Ooh, challenge is on. Brie, are you entering the challenge? Guys, thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you for this is listening. Great. Uh, we are happy to be back. We're back, bitches. And we are excited <laughs> to spend the next 10 episodes with you. And we are super grateful for all of you that have been a part of the first nine seasons. I know. Uh, we are just getting started. Yes. Fuck yes. Peace out, everybody. Bye, guys.